Holy shit. I love another video game. Okay, I just got obsessed with... I'm in the middle of being obsessed with Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the new game that just came out from Nintendo, sequel to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that came out in 2017. For the gamers who watch my videos, uh, you're like, duh, everyone is talking about it, and they won't shut up about it. To my non-gamer people, you know, people who are here because of the stuff I talk about, creativity or whatever. If you haven't heard of this game, holy shit, I'm going to tell you a little about it. But here's the deal. I'm not going to make it too in the weeds for a non-gamer, but I'm also not going to repeat the same things that a million other reviews have talked about for the gamer audience. I'm just going to talk about my own personal view of it, how it's affecting me creatively and emotionally. The other thing is, this is kind of a work in progress because I'm nowhere near finished with the game. I've only played for like 5, 10 hours, 15, 20, 30 hours, oh fuck, 35, 40 maybe, uh, 55, 70, 85 hours. Okay, I actually beat the game after 100 hours. So that sounds like a hell of a lot of time, and it is for many games. I can't stop wandering around and exploring things in this game. I'm not gonna spoil like any parts of the story, but you might see some footage of me trying and failing to build contraptions that may reveal little details about the game, so. You know, it's like barely spoilers, but to the people who are like, I don't want to be spoiled in any way whatsoever, then don't look. Okay, so I need to flash back a little. 2017, I don't know if you remember that. That was kind of a dark year. I was worried about all kinds of things. I was very busy with work. I was very busy my personal life, raising kids, busy with my various creative projects. I was worried that the democracy was collapsing. There were a lot of things on my mind and then this game came out i'd never played a big video game in modern times it turned out this world they created was so carefully crafted and beautiful and you could go anywhere and do anything and i just spent hundreds of hours bathing in the beauty of that game and enjoying that world like for me every game has a theme to it and that 2017 Breath of the Wild game, the theme was like, explore everything and everywhere in this world. And that helped me with my writing. I was stuck in a novel I was working on, and I think I just didn't go deep enough with some of the characters and some of the relationships. And I explored those relationships much more deeply and got that book published in 2022 with Red Hen Press. But I think the exploration part of Breath of the Wild just changed me. And I got way into gaming and I played, you know, dozens of games since then. When Tears of the Kingdom came out, I was afraid it would be more of the same. I was like, I've already done that stuff. And I've played tons of other games on other game systems. And the Nintendo Switch is getting old and slow. Would I enjoy the next iteration of this? It's a direct sequel. I was like, I, I don't need to go to that same open world. I've already clocked in 367 hours. But then again, I'm still worried about all the awful things going on around me. And uh, I'm busy with all my creative projects and work and family and all that stuff i both don't have much time and i could really use an escape so i picked up this damn legend of zelda tears of the kingdom thing that recently came out now i could immediately tell that this game was darker and much bigger than the last one but it took me a few hours to really understand that this game is different it's almost like they tricked you by giving you some familiar components and the, some familiar places, but the world is turned upside down and your powers are turned upside down. Breath of the Wild, some of the powers are like bombs or turning water to ice and other these powers that are very prescriptive in that they, you know exactly what you need to use them for. People came up with very clever ways to go beyond what was expected, but it, they were very specialized. The powers in this game are very abstract and general purpose in a way that at first you're like, well, I can glue shit together, and I can ascend through stuff, and I can turn back time. Those sound good, but how do I really use them? And then a few hours into the game, you're like, holy shit. They've given me tools I can use to do anything and everything if I'm just stubborn enough to figure out how to pull it off. The theme for this game is not just like explore everything and everywhere in this world, but it's like do it in your own awkward, clumsy way. It's clumsy, it's awkward, it's messy. And when you put things together and get to the place you're trying to get to, 
uh, you feel like, hey, I did this special thing in my own stupid way, and I pulled it off, and you feel so smart for having done it, like you've done something special. I'm stuck on another novel now, like I was six years ago. This time, though, what I needed was not necessarily like to deepen the story, but it was like to figure out my own tricks to tell the story and cobble it together in my own awkward way. Uh, it's a multi-generational story. It takes place in the 1930s, and I was stuck. I mean, I do realize that I'm using this excuse to play more video games, so there's some level of bullshitting myself here, but I still think this kind of creative problem-solving in games, this game in particular, helps me with the writing. It's like I feel more comfortable messing around with my stories, messing with the point of view, or being bold enough to add or remove characters or put the scene together differently. This game makes me want to tell my story in my own weird, messy, unique way. And this game feels like it's telling you to use your own weird, messy way over and over and over and over again. It's an amazing way of rethinking the familiar to make it new. All right, thank you so much for watching all the way to this point. I hope you've got like a little hint of like why I have gotten so consumed by this game and maybe you'll want to try it too. Thank you.